A combination of all the strong winds and rain causing some major flooding in and around Northwest Ohio. Roxanne Elias spoke to an engineer helping maintain several projects monitoring Lake Erie, who says this could be the new norm. The spring storms are here. And then flooding happens. So once that water goes up, it's got to go somewhere. Ed Verhaney is an engineer with Limnotech. He helps maintain about half the weather buoys that track wind and waves on Lake Erie. He says flooding isn't unusual around this time, but the lake levels are. Since 2012, uh, lake levels have risen almost four and a half feet. Um, you know, we've just been getting more rain. Uh, and more runoff into the lake and we haven't seen a sort of compensatory loss of, of water. The combination of high water and strong winds caused areas like these to flood. This is video from today along the lake shore where some roads were invisible. Also Cullen Park and Point Place where the parking lot looked like a pond and these homes in Monroe where families were evacuated. But what exactly causes the high waters? We think of a, you know, Lake Erie like a bathtub. You know, we know that, that the water level is high. And then um, once we get a wind coming uh, from the east, it, it pushes the water up. It's, it's physically driving the water uh, to one side of the bathtub and you're getting a drop in water level near Buffalo and a rise in water level near Toledo. Verhaney fears the flooding won't be over soon. He instead recommends cities look into building stronger infrastructure. And what scientists are really worried about right now is, you know, there's no reason that the lake can't rise another foot on top of where it's at already. So, the, you know, there is not not too much of a natural regulation of, of lake levels. We're, we're, we're really understanding more about uh, uh, how these changes in climate are going to impact us today and, and for years to come. Roxanne Elias, WTOL 11.